Adobe has today released um, a sort of series of updates to its um, Creative Cloud apps, um, including some updates to the photography apps, namely Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, and um, Lightroom Classic. And amongst these is the ability to create a, a, selected, a selective edit on color, um, which is a new functionality. So this allows us to um, remove color casts from our images without having to resort to using white balance tools, which tend to be somewhat harsh and somewhat more global in nature. So localized correction of color. The way we do that is um, obviously this image here, we've got a very green color cast. The water was very green. Um, so what I want to do is take some of the greenness out of it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gradient filter tool. I could either use the brush or the gradient filter tool. In this case, I'm going to use the gradient filter tool and I'm going to grab a gradient filter and move it straight down over the image like so. Um, so there we are. Now to see the effects of the gradient filter, what I need to do is I'm going to press the O key and that will apply a red mask to the area which shows where the, um, how the gradient is going to work, obviously darker at the top. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move this down a little bit just so that, there we go. Okay. So there we have a um, gradient filter tool has been applied. Um, and what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to use the range mask tool, specifically the color range. And when I click on that, it offers me this eyedropper tool or target adjustment tool, and I can click on an area in the image and it will select the color in that area. And obviously it will only apply the graduated filter to that, graduated filter, sorry, to that area. I can add specific colors by holding down the shift key and clicking other areas, and it will add additional areas um, it will to my selection. Um, and I think those are pretty much okay. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press O in order to remove the mask so I can see what's going on. And then I have these new sliders here. And these new sliders are the new hue and saturation adjustment tools. And I say these are um, local um, hue and saturation adjustment tools. Um, and so the hue tool, I can go really crazy and do some pretty psychedelic stuff by moving this around. Um, in my case, we'll see I don't want to do that. I'll double click to reset it. And I'm just going to subtly try and move it a little bit towards the blue to take some of the greenness out of it. I think that's quite probably about enough. And then I'm probably just going to slightly desaturate the green as well. Maybe a little bit too much now, actually. So go back towards the green a little bit. There we are. Um, so that's my adjustment. Um, if I just shut down the uh, graduated filter tool like so, and we can before and after, that's before, that's after, that's before, that's after. So quite a useful tool just for removing color cast, obviously blue, green color cast, quite common underwater.